We are celebrating Cardano's first birthday these days and we are very excited to announce the release of Rust Cardano and the Cardano CLI. So what are those? Um, Rust Cardano is an API for the Cardano blockchain written in the programming language Rust. So it contains all the necessary ingredients you need to interact with the Cardano blockchain. All the data types like blocks, transactions, addresses and um, the necessary protocol functionality to query blocks, send transactions, and everything else you need. Now Cardano CLI, also written in Rust, is a thin wrapper on top of Rust Cardano library. And it's a very simple and lightweight, but very powerful command line interface for, for Cardano. So you can create transactions, you can synchronize with the blockchain, explore the blockchain, inspect blocks, and the transactions you can construct are actually very powerful. And in addition to that, which already makes it a valuable tool, it also demonstrates how easy it is to write interesting and exciting projects with the Rust Cardano library. Rust is a relatively modern programming language that uh, rapidly gains popularity and it's quite nice. It has a very powerful type system and on the same, at the same time it's very low level so you actually can do systems programming with it and it doesn't have the overhead of more higher level languages of garbage collection and so on so it's very fast. But because of its interesting type system, it's also very safe. So you don't have the usual problems you have with C programs, for example, that you um, have memory leaks and pointer arithmetic can go wrong and things like that. So it's a nice language. It's functional and imperative. It's also been inspired by Haskell and it's also very portable. And that is actually one of the main plus points so now that we have the Rust Cardano library, it's easy to port that to all sorts of platforms, of course, Windows, Linux, Mac, but um, there's also cross compilation to JavaScript. So using Rust and the Rust Cardano library, it's even possible to develop mobile apps for the Cardano blockchain. Now that we have this Rust implementation of large parts of Cardano, you may wonder what that means for Haskell and whether IOHK is abandoning Haskell and nothing could be further from the truth. I mean, Haskell is very important to us and it will remain to be the authoritative language, the authoritative source of the Cardano software of the Cardano and Ouroboros protocols. And Rust is just a very nice addition because it opens up the Cardano infrastructure to a wider audience because even though Haskell is a very cool, very powerful language, it's not very widely known. So we hope that with having a Rust API out there, there will be more developers who can become involved in writing interesting software for Cardano. And as I mentioned before, it's very portable. So using Rust, we can target a lot of platforms, but that doesn't mean that Haskell will become less important in future for us. On the contrary, all our efforts doing formal methods and caring very much about verification and quality, um, for those things, Haskell is absolutely essential. First of all, Haskell is fun. So 
me personally, but I'm sure also a lot of my colleagues at IOHK have been attracted to IOHK in the first place because we were excited that there was a company using Haskell to work on very interesting and fascinating projects and problems. And um, Haskell is very mathematical, it's very abstract and very high level. So it's easy to, to express complex ideas in a simple and uh, concise way and um, also to, to reach a high level of assurance because there is a whole class of errors that are common in other programming languages that you simply can't do in Haskell.